I was kidding. <laughs> but if I fart, I apologize. <laughs> That's disgusting. Hello and hello and welcome to Acquired Savant, the show where each week I am joined by a local artist as they show me how to do what they do and I try to follow along. I'm your host for today, Jimmy Karatz. On this week's episode, we have the marvelous Tabitha Ingle. Yay! Who's going to show us how to do terrain painting. Is that correct? Correct. Good to see you again, Tabitha. Excellent. Tell us everything. What are we doing today? Uh, today we are painting um, hags. Hags, like a good hag. <laughs> What is a hag? <laughs> it is a, uh, a monster from a game I play called Dungeons and Dragons. Dungeons and Dragons. Mm. Fascinating. <laughs> Do adults still play that? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Are you an adult physically, but emotionally, you're still like a kid running around causing oh, absolutely. trouble? That's good. Absolutely. That's how you're supposed to be. I reckon I'm still like 12 years old. I did love it then. <laughs> anyway, this is obvious by now, isn't it? Okay, so what are we going to do? Okay, so this is these hags are for a game I'm about to use, so mm -hmm. do your best work. Um, now, in the game, what is the purpose of the hag? In my game, they are currently invading people's sleep. So Sweet. Hmm, the people that are playing, they are enter your dreams and cause give nightmares. You horrible and nightmares. Yeah. Good times, hmm. good times. How long have you been doing this? I think we should actually, before I even talk about that, mm -hmm. show me what we actually need to physically do, how we do this. Where do we start? All right. Do I need a creative bone in my body to do this, or are there numbers Absolutely on there so not. I could do the paint by number? Uh, look, it's just you kind of start with the innermost detail and work your way out. So I usually start with face. Mm -hmm. So pick a color that you want for the face. I'm going green. This is extremely detailed. Mm -hmm. That gives it me a lot of room detailed. to mess it up. Yeah, so you start right. with the base first. Now, so I notice there's skulls everywhere. Is that a good skull color? Yeah, it is. There's actually a color called Screaming Skull. That that looks looks very yeah. bony. Does that look right? We need to just stir um, that up a little bit. Yeah. That's what we're going to do. All right. So, um, do, 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 do. how long have you been doing all this? Do I need to add water to About that? 15 that years. Looks a little gummy. Yeah, that's, you can just put it onto your palette there and then oh, that's wet right. your brush. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You did say something about that. And then yeah. aren't I supposed to add water? water somehow? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Because the paints are quite thick. So, anyway, how long how long you been uh, into the, is it is it just, just painting terrain drawing. figurines? Yes, painting terrain is the scenery, uh -huh. and the figurines are the creatures. Right, of course. Those two like words mean different things, don't they? Yes. <laughs> English is not my first language. Where I'm from, we speak American. So, <laughs> <laughs> you know, that's not working out so well for me. Anyhow, so you've been doing this for how long, did you say? About 15 years. About 15 years. Not necessarily yeah. the painting, but... The Dungeons and Dragons, the painting, probably about two or three years now. Mm -hmm. And now, is that specifically you've been painting uh, the figurines and painting the terrain, or you've been making terrain for that long as well? Uh, both. So all of the terrain in the front here, I made myself. So brilliant. It's made from sand and foam and You cork. said something about that piece right there, that little teepee-looking mm -hmm. thing. That's toilet paper. It's a toilet paper roll, isn't it? Yeah. Well, so yeah, cardboard and then toilet paper, paper mache on top. Fantastic. Now the trick here is always that I try to use both parts of my brain, neither of which work very well, but I try to uh, ask you questions at the same time I'm painting. So <laughs> if I start babbling in what doesn't sound like anything coherent, that means I'm really concentrating on trying to do a good job here. That's my excuse anyway. So you've been doing this, and now do you do this, uh, also do you do you paint other things? Do you do any uh, professional painting or any other kind of uh, artsy type of things? Uh, weirdly, I paint furniture as well. You paint furniture? I do paint furniture. Now, is that something that you do just for friends and family, or is that something that you actually do it and make a bit of coin on the side? No, because I'm very slow. Even like one of these miniatures would normally take me about seven hours. So. Oh, jeez. Yeah. So is a piece of furniture that <laughs> take you about furniture. 70 days? Yeah, pretty you much. Know, you so. can build an ark in that amount of time. That's Correct. what Noah did. I don't know where the hell I'm going with any of that. <laughs> anyway, so um, 
as far as uh, this goes as a creative, uh, is it just a creative hobby? Is that what, what you would call yeah, it? Yeah, like in, in the way that hobbies are very life consuming and and time consuming and yeah, money consuming. Time consuming and and money consuming you're yeah. spending more money on it than you're making? Yeah, that's definitely. a hobby. That's brilliant. <laughs> At least it's not as costly as owning a boat. Apparently, that is a that's a killer. So um, I was going to ask you um, when it comes to creating a, a piece. You said you'll spend maybe seven hours on mm -hmm. one of these if you're going to do it properly. Yep. Uh, oh no! If I do it properly, it can sometimes take two or three months. Holy cow! Yeah, just a couple of hours a day. It's just building up the paint very slowly over time. But oh, so you're doing multiple layers yeah. and stuff like that. But I play every week, so uh -huh. I kind of need new creatures every week. Well, then week. hopefully you're good at the game because if you're losing creatures all the time, then you're in big trouble, aren't you? Well, no, that's what I want them to do because I run the game. Uh-huh. And so I run it for a group of, uh, the game I'm currently running has six friends in it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> well, four family, one friend. Uh -huh. and, uh, so you've gotten family I involved in all of this. Oh, definitely, yeah. My husband, uh, my two brothers, my sister. Now, were they involved in this kind of thing before you came to the scene? Or? Oh, no, absolutely not. No, okay. No, they were adamant they did not want to play that nerd thing. <laughs> <laughs> I would have never called it that. I would oh, call I'm it sure. a good creative <laughs> outlet, but that's yes. just me. Um, so uh, when it comes to making sets, how long does it take you to make this, like the stuff that we got in front of us here, all these different, three different sets? How long They're separate tiles. Each of those tiles doesn't take long, maybe about 20 minutes. Mm -hmm. oh, okay, that's easy. Yeah, and you well, do them kind of bulk. And, uh, and the more so you make, the quicker it is. Some of these, like the, this here is just what, just foam, right? Yep. And then uh, these other, are they, did you say you buy these or you said something about 3D printing, I think, before? Yeah, so the hags I have currently these, these were purchased, but mm -hmm. a couple of the figurines, like the one on the left and the one on this rock, um, I actually printed myself. Okay, all right. Yeah. Um, and, and a lot of the like the barrels and stuff and the sword rack, that's all. I imagine yeah, if somebody's myself. been living under a rock or they're 70 years old, <laughs> they probably have never heard of Dungeons and Dragons. But if they're, I would, ex I would expect that most people have heard of it, yeah? It's really popular these days. Yeah, I would have thought it's been popular for at least kind of since I was, so we're talking 30 years, right? Yeah. So, but for people who have been living goes, under yeah. rocks, do you want to explain to people what in the world it is? Um, <laughs> that's always the hardest game, thing right? to do. It is a role-playing game, so a lot of people play Dungeons and Dragons for different reasons. Mm -hmm. A lot of people play it because they're actors and they want to test their acting skills. Oh, ah, right. A lot of people play it because they're strategists and they want to, you know, figure out political dynamics. We're about to take over the world. So yeah. Trump, Trump has been playing a lot of Dungeons and Dragons. He must be is very that good at Dungeons and yeah. Dragons. <laughs> <laughs> now they used to say back in the day when I was a youngster and we played Dungeons and Dragons that if you play Dungeons and Dragons, you'll get Satan in you. Yeah, the Satanic Panic. Yeah, is what it was nicknamed. Are they still doing that? Um, People still worried about that? I think less than they used to be. Yeah, video now games are a lot more. they're worried more about Fortnite and the stuff that's happening there on oh, the no, online. Oh, no, that's definitely, yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's definitely Which true one, in your opinion, is more dangerous? Oh, 100% Fortnite. <laughs> <laughs> I can't disagree with that. Now, yeah. let's see here. Um, I believe um, what we're going to do now while okay. we're continuing to paint here is we're going to take a short break and we're going to get a perspective on paint by number from a group of old people. So oh, we're going to wonderful. cut to that now while you and I continue about our business. Sounds good. Well, what is going on here? Uh, he's hungry. Looks like Hagrid. <laughs> looks like Hagrid a bit, doesn't it? But what's he? He looks like he's eating Harry Potter. Um, Best, trying to... bestial a bit. A bit bestial. Uh, it looks very scary. Yeah, sort of yeah. almost devouring yeah. himself. That is, a, that is, that's a really strange painting, isn't it? Definitely yeah. a female. Uh, and why would you eat the head first? I mean, surely that'd be the worst part. I'll tell you the title of it. Yeah. It's called Saturn Devouring His Son. Uh -huh. Is there a reason why Saturn devoured him? What, he hadn't eaten for, he didn't yeah. have porridge for breakfast or something? Like... Looks like human body. <sighs> yeah. I think he is portraying someone who is letting loose their most monstrous feeling. Well, he's never used pepper and salt. Um, I'm going to boot it. Two, yeah. <laughs> I mean, I wouldn't put it in my house. Can I, can I boot that one? Stish. 
It looks as though it has really perhaps sexual connotation. The bottom half of a stormtrooper's helmet. I, I don't know what it is. It could be also be one of those face masks. Well, I mm. thought it was a urinal. It looks like a urinal, but doesn't really work properly. Is it a urinal? It's a urinal, like a toilet. <laughs> if, if you saw it in a gallery, in an art gallery, would you stop and have a look <laughs> and admire it? Or <laughs> I might stop and piss in it. I don't know if I. I would admire it. I wouldn't want it in my house unless it was a, unless unless I put it in the toilet or something like that. To me, that's not a piece of art. I mean, that, 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 that's a piece of plumbing. I think a toot, because, yeah. It's outside the, the old square, as they say, and I kind of like that. We're looking at fashion this time. Oh, I'm sorry, why did you give me that then? Yeah, fashion, yeah. Yes. Um... Is that fashion, is it? It can be fashion. Good God. It can be art, yeah. They're suggesting that fashion is art and art is fashion. It, it looks like somebody with a chook fetish, doesn't it, really? <laughs> How do you feel about all the birds that had to be sacrificed for fashion? Yeah, for that. Well, I can't well, say I know, particularly yeah. approve of that. Of that. I mean, that's ridiculous. Uh, no, but you, um, have, you have to make sacrifices for your art sometimes. That's no good. Could you imagine anybody in their right mind wearing that anywhere? Mm, no. <laughs> w would you wear it? <laughs> I wouldn't mind if you didn't wear it. Um. <laughs> yeah. Well, I don't think it would fit me. They tend not to make clothes my size. Those deaths were in vain. Boot, definitely. Yeah, I think boot. it would be my boots here. And that should be a crime. Both boot that. Yeah. Boot it then. Oh, so cute. Do you, do you like it? Well done. Back to the show. Quiet, get the font. Let's go. Hello and welcome back to Acquired Savant. We're painting like crazy. It's amazing. I'm not terrible at this one. Look, at it yeah. actually looks like it's not done by a four-year-old. Yeah, it looks I really mean, good. Let me give me a couple I more like minutes and I'll, I'll bring down. Yeah, I like that. I think he's gonna. He's a blonde, so. She's a blonde. She's that ugly you can't tell, sorry. Um, okay, so what we're gonna do, Tabitha, yes? if that is your real name, I assume it is. It okay, is. we're gonna play a little game. You've probably never played this game before, okay. but we call it real or miniature. Oh dear. Does that sound good? Yeah. That's good, because you don't really have a choice. I mean, you can <laughs> just, your answer can be like in a legal setting, where in Australia you can say, I will do the interview, but all of my answers will be no comment answers. Okay. But don't do that, because that'll okay. take the fun out of it. <laughs> All right, do you see this thing? I do. Do you know what it is? It is a landmark. What? It's a landmark. It is a landmark. Do you know which one? <laughs> mm-hmm, very which, famous one. Which one? Mm-hmm. You um, don't know. St. Bas Basilisk Cathedral in Red Square. Yeah, I knew that. Now, is that one uh, real or is it fake? Fake. You're wrong. Can't you see through the page? Look at that, it's real. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so, so far you're 0 for 1. All right, mm. now, what is this one here? Big Ben, and that's fake. That is, when you say fake, um, I mean miniature. we artists take offense to that. <laughs> it's miniature. 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 I replica. Say miniature. That's like Americans, we don't say, um, we don't say nuclear, right? We, we, it's nuclear, right? It's we nuclear. said, we say nuclear. nuclear or something, I don't nuclear. know. But you know, we also say, L we say aluminum instead of aluminium, but the mm. reason is, is because we spell it differently. Mm -hmm. We have no extra eye at it's the end. It's because you just randomly yeah, interesting take, little take factoid letters that out of words. Nobody cares about. All right, okay. All more right, stuff that hopefully people do care about. What's mm -hmm. that? Taj Mahal. That's right. Mm -hmm. And real, uh, real or miniature? Real. Real. Got it. Good job. Nailed it. I'm having trouble with my pronunciation of miniature, so I'm just going to call it real or small. Okay, uh, what is that one? Leaning Tower of Pisa. Correct. Real or small? <laughs> small. Uh, small. No, no, it's real small on the page, but that's the real one. Oh, okay. Yeah. It's hard to tell when it's it just a really photo. Like if you saw it in person, you'd probably be able to figure it out. I have seen you'd it in like, person. You'd be like, that thing's huge, that's gotta yeah, be real. Yeah, it was real, okay. yeah. <laughs> And what about this one? 
Oh, it's that's, a bridge. I hope that's we'll a miniature hint. because that looks really incredible. So I'm going to say miniature. That is correct. Wow. So good. I don't know what the wow. tab is this time as far as if you're getting these right, but um, or like how many you've gotten right. But so far, so good. All right, here we go. What is it? Uh, it's the Opera House and yep. it's miniature. Eh. It you're real? an Australian, mate. Un Australian. That was real. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, oh my gosh, the, the pressure. Uh -huh. I think you're <laughs> failing at this. <laughs> I just, it's really hard what to tell. I feel like I'm going to get tricked. Uh, Great Wall of China. And Great Wall of uh, Mexico. That's <laughs> can't say that. There's no, it's a horrible wall of Mexico. Uh, and miniature or real? Uh, look, I'm going to say real. Oh, look at that. It's miniature. Somebody How made that How are these people thing. making crazy. this? Are you going to be that good someday? Yeah, I hope when so. You, when you grow up, so. are you going to be that good? It's the trees. That's what gets me. Uh, yeah, I know. And sometimes yeah. they have people in them and you're yeah. like, oh, it can't be real. What is mm. that one? Uh, miniature. What is it? I can't even see from the... Arc de Triomphe. Yeah, you are correct. And what did you say it was? I said miniature. Whew, we should have prepped you on this. That was real. Oh, my gosh. All right. My instincts are failing. Oh, my goodness. All right. Yep. The Sphinx. Um, miniature. Survey says, yay! You got it right. And? Parthenon? Um, miniature. Correct. You know what's interesting, and I don't know if this was the Parthenon, but something that had the big pillars. It might have been the, mm. the Roman one. What's the Roman one? Is that the Parthenon and one's the Pantheon? Uh, the, anyway, the, near the Colosseum. they make the yeah. pillars, instead of perfectly upright, they put them at a slight angle because of the optical illusion, a slight angle outwards because your eyes make them converge. So they're actually a few degrees out when they built them. That's Amazing actually incredible. what they were doing 3,000 years ago. Okay. So far, so good. I should get back to painting mm, because I've really gotten good. nowhere so far. And while I'm painting, we're going to take a quick commercial break. So enjoy the commercials and we'll see you shortly. Genevieve. No. Genevieve. No. Genevieve. Oui. Oh my God, oui. His onion is so much love. All right, here we are again for the rapid art round. If I don't blink and I keep my eyes wide open like that, Tabitha, does that make me look clinically insane? Yes. Okay, good. <laughs> We've achieved what we were trying to achieve. So, we're on to the rapid art round. Now, yours is basically done. You said you can't do this in under 20 minutes. It's the pressure. <laughs> well, you're, you're rising to the occasion. Um, you're gonna probably have to help me with mine at some point. Anyways, we're on to the rapid art round. Do you know what that means? No. Well, they're mean? words in English. They rapid mm -hmm. and art and round. So, so that means we have even like three minutes yeah, got it. to finish our little story as a art piece. I don't got it. know. Now I'm just making stuff up. I'm just whatever. All right. So 
three mm -hmm. minutes. And during that time, I'll probably still ask you some random questions because that's what I do, Tabitha. Excellent. So, I Tabitha, like that is the, that is not what I wanted. This is this will have to do though. Tabitha, tell me this. Yes. Are there different types of paint? There has to be. Like there has to yes. be. Are we using oil based? We're no. We're using water based, obviously, because we're adding water. Yes, water based paint. And um, yeah. How how these paints work and the reason they're in such small pots, or so I assume, um, is they're very high pigment paints, which is why you water them down, which means they've got very strong coverage. So a lot of water based paints you need to do uh, different types. So a lot of modelers will use this specific type of paint for that reason because it is very strong, mm -hmm. very strong in colors. Now we're using different brushes and there's different size brushes, but are yes. some brushes uh, completely different, uh, like the hairs that are used, uh, or is yes. it all virtually the same? No, very different and you'll get very different results from different brushes. Okay. If you do want to get into miniature painting, I suggest anything that's sable. So S-A-B-L-E, sable type hair, will give mm -hmm. you a lot more precision and the points tend to stay sharper for longer. Ah. Interesting little factoid there. Uh, to get a setup where you're getting your basic paints and your your uh, uh, brushes and everything, I mean, is somebody going to spend $150 to get themselves started? They're going to send $1,000 to get themselves started. Closer to $150. Um, That's good. You can start with your basic colors and you can mix your own, just like any other painting. Yeah, that makes sense. That makes pretty good sense. All right, now, while we're doing, I think we're, whatever, we're going to keep going. We're going to cheat and we're going to yep. keep going for a couple of <laughs> minutes because right now what we're going to do is take a little break again and you guys are going to get to hear a performance from singer-songwriter Ace Cabawatton. Boom. Couldn't you see how much you meant to me? That's why I can't believe I thought it was you and that's why
Ah, hi. We're ready. <laughs> We're good. I finished my piece. It was looking pretty Did good. You? I gotta be honest. I'm a little disappointed because Tabitha here steered me wrong. I thought I was about to use black for the shoulder <laughs> cape on my hag. Instead, I got this runny kind of thing that looks like it's supposed to be blood that's not oxygenated. It's it's called a wash. Well, so. we know that now. Apparently, you don't use the wash for paint work. You do not. Correct. Okay, so it's time to do a reveal and see whose is better. Okay. Now, I'm. it's kind of like golf. I'm working with a handicap. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The handicap just being I don't know what I'm doing, you know, mm -hmm. so I get like an extra 15 strokes. Yeah. So I think we should probably reveal yours first so they see what it's supposed to look like. Well, in the limited time, oh, yeah, I got most of, most of my uh, That's pretty creature damn good. done, which is Quite not bad, impressed. from 7 hours to 20 minutes. Now, mine, you know, <laughs> what do you think? Yeah, shush. Nobody no asked comments. you. Look at that. That's actually kind of good. I took the advice and I didn't start with the details. I started with the big parts. Look, he looks naked through the stuff. She looks naked through the stuff. I keep forgetting that a hag is a woman. Well, yes. Well, is that? I don't know. Is It, is this, it is, this yes. Is. It's anyway, <laughs> moving along, as usual, mine doesn't look that good. But I'm proud of myself and my efforts that I put in. It looks Wonderful. Yeah, well, thank you. All right, very good. That's it, Tabitha. Thank you for being here. On uh, next week's episode, we have another amazing artist lineup for you, makeup artist Ellie Lothian. We look forward to seeing you next week. Until then, I wish you adieu. Good stuff. <laughs> Fun stuff, come sit down and watch a choir savant. A choir savant. <laughs>